What if I, oh, oh, it's gonna happen. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to be spawned into the environment at some point. It turns out I missed a point. That little error changed everything. By that guy. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red Oh, can you care? Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Oh, it's it's Chris, a new character. Oh, wonderful. So Q, E, and L buttons. Q. Ah, okay. So now I can play as Chris. Jeez, Chris. Chris seems fat to me. I don't know if it's just me, but Chris seems. And he doesn't seem very happy about whatever. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. Mm -mm. He'd even been graceful at times. Chris, you're kind of... Well, not actually. Not technically <laughs> graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Oh. Is he going to need Thomas to get past this? I think he's going to need Thomas. So, I think this is a major aspect of the, all the puzzles that we're going to be having to do inside this, uh, is working together, right? So, Chris and Thomas are going to have to work together in order to get through this horrible world filled with puzzles and adventure and all that jazz. Um, uh, look at the light. Look at the light. The shadow. It's so cool. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just enjoying this. Okay, Chris, let's go. Move it, Chris. You fat little square. I, I might end up liking Chris more, but as of right now, I'm just sort of like, hey, Chris, is the, is the volume... Is the music... Vo I don't know. Okay, I, I I can't tell how loud it, it needs to be, and it seems loud to me right now, so. Q-E-L-R button, scroll, oh yeah, yeah, that's the same thing, okay. okay. This was more like it. The glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. You mean Chris is actually useful do? for something? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Chris is actually useful for something. Good job, Chris. There you go. Okay. Wait, is Chris gonna need help? I have a feeling Chris is gonna need help to get up this. Yeah. Yep, Chris can't even make the first jump. I'm sorry, Chris. You're a beautiful... You're a, I'm sure you're a beautiful on the inside. Actually, no. You're angry and... self-centered on the inside so far. But great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch-pressing thing entirely worthwhile. <laughs> oh, Chris. I feel like he's just misunderstood by himself. I don't Was know. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was... <laughs> Oh, poor Chris. I love the character development that's happening between Chris and Thomas. They're like bonding, you know? Oh, this looks more complicated. Okay, so Chris has to make it over to here. Ew. Is he yeah, he's not going to be able to. So I'm thinking he's probably going to need Thomas for this. Ooh. Is he gone? Oh, no. No, no. Lag, why you have to occur at that exact moment? Oh, no. I, every, I think every time I make that jump, there's just like inevitable lag for whatever reason. Okay, come on, Chris. I believe in you. I believe in you, you 
beautiful re square of a thing. Ah, dang it. Yes! Okay, awesome. Yeah, like how they first developed Thomas' character, and now we're developing Chris's character. I'm really enjoying this. Chris stared at Thomas with pure <laughs> hatred. <laughs> he seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Huh. Sorry to oh, oh, that would oh. be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Chris, be careful what you wish for. Because that could be a bad thing, I think. Okay, go Chris, go. Onward to adventure. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you made it over that water, Chris, with grace and stuff. You're, you sure are getting a far away. A long ways away from Thomas. Oh, Thomas is right down here. Okay, Thomas, it's your turn now. Oh. Okay, Thomas. Oh, crap. <laughs> I thought that, uh, that I didn't know that platform moved so quickly. Okay, here's another one that moves quickly. Wonderful. Okay. I haven't, haven't failed horribly yet, I, I, I believe. If I have, uh, tell me and you guys. Well, uh, oh, oh. John oh. knew. He knew that this was his chance. Oh. A moment to shine. This was game day. John, look at how tall he is. Look at how very tall he is. Look at his tallness. I think that Chris can't jump up there by himself. Here, Chris, now move over for Thomas. There you go. Yeah, sure you'll go, Chris. Okay, no, oh, oh, okay. Chris last. There you guys go, yeah. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Jeez, Chris, can you believe this guy? Look at him. Where did they Look come from, anyway? He, take, he takes up, like, the whole entire corridor, Chris. Look at that. What, what is his problem, Chris? Why is he so fa- Oh, I'm- I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to use the F word. I'm- I'm- I won't talk to you anymore, Thomas. You used the F word. I'm gonna come over here all alone in my little box. Stay away from me, you fun person. No, I- I'm sorry, Chris, but I actually have to come over here, too. So- then there's poor little John all by himself over in the corner. So now we're in developing John's character, I guess. That's really cool. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Of awesome. Oh, yeah. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time, to show those little dots how it was done. John can sure jump. Oh! John gives a little meow when he dies. John can still sure jump that far. Wow, John. You're a real John uh, decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Oh, that's nice, John. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> I love how they how they give him a compliment and then they ruin it on the very next statement. Oh, narrator. He's like, yeah, you know, John. John's this really sympathetic guy. He practiced so much. Oh, there's an achievement down there. You guys see the achievement down below? We're going to get that achievement. Aw, oh, stupid Chris. I've come back for you all the time. Why don't you just, like, go and die or something? Poor Chris. I'm sorry, Chris. You're a beautiful little, beautiful, big, little, fat creature. 
Okay. Go, Chris. Now, Thomas. Okay. There we go. Let's send, uh, let's send Chris first, because he needs the most help. So, let's send him down first, so he can... We can figure out if he needs help. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna get that. We're gonna be getting that, guys. Can, uh... Yes, wonderful. Double act. I think that was supposed to take me two people, but, uh... Oh, well, I was smart about it. See, John, that was supposed to take two people, but... John just doesn't care, because John is just amazing. He's like, I'm an Olympian. I don't need another person, clearly. I can do it on my own. I don't need these little idiots. But then he... he he's not... He, I, I can't tell much about John's character yet. He seems like... Oh, oops. John needs to help. See, John seems like a, uh, a nice person, but then he has, like, these hidden personality flaws. Uh, but all, overall, I like all the characters so far, and I think it'll only continue to get better. Okay, 1.9. Okay, I think you're gonna need to. Mm, can you, like, use Thomas? Yes, John you can. was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. <laughs> it's all about his image. Okay, okay, John. John's just like, I love helping these, these little tiny. These little tiny block things, and it makes me feel so good about myself. I don't really care that I'm helping them not get killed. It just makes me feel really, really, oh, are they gonna need help? Yep, not even Thomas can make it. Oh, John, you get too far ahead of yourself, John. Come back here. Ooh. We're gonna need Thomas also up here. There we go. Actually, here. John, you move over there. You jump up. Now you jump up. Now you jump up. Stupid John getting in the way. We don't need John for this. We just need... We might need him for this, though. Okay. Good job, guys. Teamwork. Yeah, we're gonna need John for this one. There we go. Wonderful. Look at that. Look at this beautiful teamwork going on. You see this, guys? See all this beautiful teamwork? Okay, John needs to go. And then Chris. So now Chris... Oh. Okay, Chris, you go up. Now Thomas goes up. Look at this wonderful teamwork. Ah, stupid Chris. It's always stupid, Chris. He's like, oh, I'm so fat. See, I think Yo Mama So Fat jokes were actually made about uh, Chris, originally. No, he's not fat, he's just... Uh... He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. Oh, Thomas is so optimistic about everything. I feel like Thomas is like the, uh... He seems really intelligent compared to the other two. Then Chris is just bad-tempered. And John just cares about making people think he's cool. Pretty much. And Chris won't be able to make it up here. Oh, Chris. Okay, Chris, we're gonna help you. I'm gonna make it my goal from now on to treat all rectangles similar. Uh, yeah. The Equal. angry orange one was less immediately like <laughs> His unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> amused John. 
John's clearly far superior than all these inferior little... Okay. Chris, we need you to... to get up here. There you go, Chris! Look at how good you're doing! Look at you! You're so f No, I'm not gonna say the F-word. No more F-words, everybody. Yeah. I've made it a goal now to stop using the F word. There you go, yes, Chris. Chris, you're beautiful. Thomas, you're my favorite. John, you're egotistical, but that's okay because I still love you. What next? This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. Okay, we better use a... John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. That's my same. Wow, seriously? Okay, you get the, uh, the easy one I see, John. Jump! 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 Oh, it's stiff. Mm. Maybe okay, Chris. that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. <gasps> he decided to keep them. <laughs> I'm face palming so much right now. John is really. John is a nasty, nasty personality. So Thomas needs to go in last since it's floating. Awesome. There we go, guys. Awesome.